Hello and welcome to Metric Insights. In this video, I will be showing you how you can use Metric Viewers for your own benefit. We are now at the homepage and if you want to get a closer look at any element, double-click it to open the full viewer and get to all the additional information. Here, below the element description, you can change the time aggregation, filter by different dimensions, and in our example we have several countries to choose from. Or look at any other related content. The content is related by common measurement interval. Like here in this example, daily metrics come first. Our elements are also related by measure, like sales or profit in this example. You can extend the display date range here at the top or via the range selector below the metric. The summary section gives you a snapshot of how the metric has been changing over time and the chart itself is overlaid with any significant alerts and events that have occurred. In this example, we can see that alerts fired on these two data points. By the way, you can choose to receive notifications about such alerts via email, phone, or even your smartwatch. But I am curious to know why these alerts fired. To find it out, let's go to the statistical view. As we can see, these data points fall outside of the acceptable standard deviation and become anomalies, or what we call statistically significant data. Also, Metric Insights offers other views to visualize the data according to other characteristics. Now let's focus on a day when sales were unusually low. Clicking on a data point surfaces more information and also lets you add events and annotations to provide context. Someone has already added an event to this data point, and we can see that website outage may be the reason why sales have decreased. I can also annotate this data point to link my thoughts or insights to this particular date, and all of it is going to be memorized both on the chart and below the chart in this collaborative section, along with comments, alerts, and events that may have caused these anomalies. So later, in let's say six months from now, someone can look through all these annotations and events and have a clear picture of what was going on with this data. You can also compare this particular metric with other ones by overlaying them on the same chart. To do so, click Manage Overlays, Add Metric, and choose a metric you would like to add to this chart. Once we've added it, it appears in the legend below the chart and we simply click its name to show or hide it. You can also add this metric to your favorites to receive daily digest email with any updates in it. You can share this metric with any of your colleagues, download it in various formats and create more alerts with your own criteria to get notified whenever something goes wrong. If you have any further questions or would like to see Metric Insights in action, contact us at info at metricinsights.com.